Well, happening today, the State Street Bridge in New Haven will reopen after years of construction. That's right. The project started back in 2009. It went years over estimated time and $20 million over the estimated budget. But it is finally done, and News 8's Ken Pierce has already walked across it. Kent, is it worth the wait and the money? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not a big bridge, and to take this long and cost this much money is astounding to a lot of people. But that's in the past. The good news is it's ready to go. You look at it back there, it's all paved, it is all lined, ready to go. You can't drive across it just yet, even though it looks like it's ready. They're waiting for the politicians to officially cut the ribbon, and unfortunately that's not going to happen until this afternoon. So one more morning commute without the State Street Bridge being open. But boy, it's been a long wait. This project began in 2009. It was supposed to take two years. It actually took six. It was supposed to cost $5 million. It actually cost $25 million. And as Ali just alluded to, I walked across it a few minutes ago. It took me about 30 steps. So it's not a lengthy bridge. Uh, it has been a lengthy process. However, that comes to an end today. The state and the city have been fighting over who was responsible for all the delays, too. The city owns it, but the state was in charge of the construction project. Both the governor and the mayor are going to be here for the ribbon cutting later today, however. So it looks like, as with any good bridge, the two sides have met in the middle. Live in New Haven, I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.